you would like to help support the channel, check out our links on our homepage. You can subscribe and follow our Instagram for all the latest channel going on. Or click on our coffee link to make a donation. You can also click on our Goblin Gaming Affiliates link. They sell Games Workshop, gaming mats, terrain, accessories and many more items. And of course, Adeptus Titanicus, all at discounted rates. Anything you buy, using the link, the channel gets a little in return. Thanks very much and enjoy the show. Hello Princeps, uh, we're back with the campaign update part two, uh, the map, it's been a bit of a break for us, been a lot going on, but we're going to give you the update now and hopefully start rolling out some battles in the near future and this is a big round. So a little recap, um, in the last round uh, we had the battle over here between Steve's Graphonicus and my night house and it was a narrow victory for me but at great cost, wasn't it Steve? Steve's here as well. Yeah, that was. Um... Still a bit sore about that, but yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it cost me so much in armory points to rebuild a whole night household. I would, I would take it as a victory in a way. Yeah, Moral. Get, yeah, yeah. I, get, I get what you're saying. I think it was. And then, as you may or may not remember over here, um, I got absolutely battered and um, fell back into my own hive and Steve's taken that fortress territory. And he's also um, got so many territories compared to me now. His armory points are up, his damage was low. It's a good round, wasn't it? Strong round for the loyalists. Yeah, very strong round. Um, I want to see if I can keep that momentum going in this round, though. So for me, I think it's going to have to be a major offensive, or or risk the campaign folding yeah, <laughs> early on. But that's the way wars go. So uh, I'm going to pan back a bit, and we can get some dice rolls in, and we can start moving our battle groups around. Okay, so I'm going to roll off to see who moves, uh, who gets to choose the first battle group to move. So on the black dice. Uh, Steve is the yellow dice, I win, um, I'm going to have a think and uh, come back to you. Okay so I've decided to be the first player in moving battle groups and um, I need to pick one and then move so let's try and make this easier so you guys can see. Okay so I'm going to pick... Um, These are my Serpentis Battle Group Glorium. And I'm going to roll D3, one square. Now, that isn't really what I wanted, but that's what I've got. And I'm actually just going to move yeah. into Steve's territory. That's a good there. Plan. So, um, do you need a pause, Steve? Or have you, have you thought your next move? Um, I will need a pause. Have a pause. <laughs> We've never had to pause a map phase before. <laughs> Steve's rather think on his Battle Group. Okay, Steve's up, and you're picking uh, my Solaria battle group. Okay, D three, two, two spaces. Mm, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> mm, okay. Um, so I think what I'm going to do with that is actually just move here. It's going into my hive. Because I think I might lose that one in a minute. Okay. And in terms of you can't you can engage me there, and I've, I've lost mm -hmm. it. So at least I, it's tit for tat. Then if I lose one, I gain one. Okay, I'm going to go straight in with mm. um, Metallica there, the Mortis in the middle, three. and I can move three spaces. Um, I'm going to engage you. You bad man. Yes, I'm going to engage you. You are the defender of a hive. Oh, that's the first time. Yeah. I could have just slunk over here, yeah. but I need to take... I can't lose a territory. No. There's no point in me gaining one, losing one. Mm. But what I need to do is start winning battles. Yep. <laughs> uh, so that's a powerful battle group too, isn't it? That's the one with it's the... Um, uh, it's, yeah. It's, it has not been used yet either. No. Scary. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick my night battle group. Okay. It's a free. Three. It's 
So you start rampaging over that side, taking all my greens off me. So I'm gonna move here. And that's moved into my city. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to take Dominatus over here that got an absolute shooing in the last round. Uh, one space, and I'm going on the attack again. Hungry for more, eh? They're coming back. They're a small battle group, uh, but being the attacker, I get to pick the size. So even though you're defending a fortress, I'll be picking a very small battle group to attack it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, which leaves me, my last battle group is the uh, Invictus Griffonicus group here. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, I'm going to roll and I might have a little think, depending on what I've rolled. Okay, so it's got a two. Uh, yeah. And then you want to have a little think. Um, do I need to have a little think? Hmm. We've still kept in the, um, the casters, haven't we, in night battle groups? In that, in, only in night battle groups, yeah. yeah. And I've got a a thumping last time from said Acastus. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to go there. It's moving into my hive. Okay, so I've got so um, that was Steve's last activation because I pinned his uh, mm. battle group in there by attacking. Uh, so I've just got my night household. So let's have a roll up. <sighs> Gets a three. Can I reach you? One, two, three. Or do I just move into a hive and save myself? Take a hive and lose a hive. Puts me on level pegging. I'm defending as well though this time and you're attacking. Yeah. You, are, you become after me, which means uh, I have all the toys for a change. It's tempting. I might just... The thing is I'm going to lose that and that and I'll gain a hive if I move over here. That's just a city. I might have to let you have that one. Damn it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do yeah, it. Yeah. I'm going on the massive traitor offensive. That's three defensive a, battles for me then. Yeah, three defences for you. Three attacking for me. Um, interesting. Uh, I lost a lot of knights in that last game. It could happen again. Again, your knight household is untouched. This, Probably a mistake by battering them. That's the. Uh, I, f I feel like I want to use them more as a, a sort of flanking force to take territories. Mm. Um, I don't want to have to go to the expense of keep repairing them. So I don't think I'm. I don't feel like I'm going to put them on the offensive anytime soon. I don't think personally. I. Could, yeah, I could probably do done without that. I don't know if I can afford them taking another beat, another beating. So I'm going to have to win my games, destroy your titans, and make you spend some spend some dough. Just, just play better. <laughs> just play better. <laughs> just play better, Chris. Roll better. <laughs> yeah, that, that would be helpful. So there you go. We've got three battles in the next round. We've got um, Graphonicus and Mortis. We've got Maccabeus and Graphonicus, and we've got Solaria and Mortis. I do believe, unless I've got my Legios wrong, that Ephraim has the um, mighty uh, Magno Bellator um, named. Griffonicus Titan. Is that this one's over here? Let's yeah. Not mix it up. Well, either way, both are in yeah. the so the, uh, the name Titan will be. We'll be making a show. So I get to pick the size of games. Uh, Steve will get the extra stratagem points for defending. Um, we will be back as soon as we can uh, for the next video. I might put a poll out to see which one you guys want video first. But I think we'll do all three because the campaign could wrap up with a few more battles because I'm getting battered. So um, we'll play all three. I might put a poll on, uh, see which guys, uh, what you guys want filmed first. So that's it from us. Uh, we'll see you in our next video. Cheers, guys and girls.